You're not going to see that in regular combos. Generally not. Often. Generally not. not often. Oh, wow. Okay, so Prince is opening it up with a very aggressive Yoshi down air. That's kind of a risky move, especially with both characters on the other side of the field. Yeah, the, the Mario Brothers, though, had a very nice uh, grab loop going. But already there you see Prince putting it away. Oh, this is the up here. Just some in incredible high-level cooperation for the green team already. Oh, yeah. Japan showing that Yamato Damashi. And there you saw the teams were sort of drifting to each side of the stage trying to like, create little zones of influence. There's Nintendo down to one interference. And now we're going to see an interesting edge guard situation. Oh, wow. Prince okay. went way out for that. Yeah. And hey, it paid off. I did not expect Yoshi to be a really good edge guarder, but, uh, but here he is. Well, he's got that forward air. He sure does. And he's also able to just like put a neutral air out right above the ledge. So he definitely has zone control tools. Oh, right there. Oh, oh. Prince getting a little greedy trying to make something happen. Yeah, but here, here we're seeing... Sorry, Yoshi getting greedy. Yeah, uh, Yoshi is a little bit too slow. If he's on the other side of the field and his, uh, his teammate is in trouble, he might have some issues getting over there to help. Uh, it is true. He's very fast short range because of the, 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 the DJCs. But like full stage, he has trouble moving. Yeah, yeah but we, we're seeing here Japan is is opening very strong against oh, yeah. Nintendo and Freyan. And now it's all up to <laughs> Nintendo against four Japanese stocks. 63% one off. Oh, man. Yeah, he's, I do not want to be that Mario right now. To be fair, though, he's, he's surviving pretty well. Yeah. Given given the odds, he's he's already lasted like 30 seconds. Oh. oh, Prince almost had the save. Oh, there we go. That's that's NorCal style. After you got the win, hit your teammate. Japan fitting right in. So yeah, I, I think that that sort of bore out the prediction. Very aggressive Yoshi, but but even there, uh, Kyoshi as well was was doing a lot of work to get in as Luigi. Oh, for sure. And I think that rather than adopting more of like a the idea of sending in a striker to hit the opponent and then the support picks up the team, they might be going for more of a bait. Just send somebody in and something will happen. Mm. So like even if they hit your teammate, you're, even if they hit your teammate, that means that they're at a frame disadvantage. So like if you if you can play it right, then that's a powerful strategy. Sure. And uh, Luigi's Luigi's up air to up B combo can really catch a lot of uh, a lot of of uh, area. Yeah. And so if he's got that chance, if, if all three of them are, are right there in the same place, then hey, then, might then as well kill good. your teammate, right? Or you get two stocks for one. Yeah, two two for one is a good trade. If you can if you can up beat all three of your opponents at the same time, that's generally not a bad option. <laughs> Depending on percent. Sure. Uh you can start? No, okay. And immediately the Mario Brothers move in to control cent uh, center stage, keeping Prince and Yoshi separate. Ooh, oh, I was Prince almost had the infinite. Yeah. Versus infinite against the wall. Ooh, that was an incredible forward air that he fished out. Extremely good presence of mind that you'd expect from someone or from a player of this caliber. And Nintendo there was uh, doing a move that in college, when we were just playing for fun in the dorms, we called sending in the reinforcements. Where you just throw the projectiles into the middle of everything. <laughs> oh, and you see they had the same idea there. Yeah. Yeah, so he, here we're definitely seeing the uh, the defensive setup where you just sort of have a wall of projectiles. Yeah. Seems to be the go-to strategy for uh, the Mario Brothers. Wow. But yeah, they were... Freon was was waiting in the wings there. So Prince and Kiyoshi look like they're just kind of moving around the stage, taking space and forcing their opponents to retreat. This is, uh, this yeah, is they're very one-sided. They, they are... I think that that's exactly right. They're simply controlling the stage much better than uh, the red team is managing to at this point. I feel also that they have like much better team communication. Yeah. See, that's the first stock after 80 seconds of game taken from the green team. Mm. And then red team not able to pick up the combo. Red team uh, looks like they're having a little bit of a little bit of trouble hitting each other. Yeah, it's generally a sign of. Uh, it's generally a bad sign. Oh yeah. I like to say that teams having the read on your teammate is a lot more important than having the read on your opponent. And 
once again. Yeah, that's that is a clean victory for Japan game two. Wow. In uh in 130 seconds. The, these are three stock games, so you do expect them to be a little shorter, but not quite that short. No. Yeah, Japan is is absolutely cleaning up. And I, I think that you're exactly right. Nintendo and Freon just aren't able to to control any space. They're not able to actually stake a claim and like control that territory. Yeah. Green team is just moving with impunity. Wow. What sort of adaptation do you think we'll see with Fox Luigi here? Yeah. Uh, do you, what sort of adaptation do you think will help them pick up stocks in this game? Yeah, I'm not terribly certain because in my mind, Fox and, and Mario tend to do similar things in teams. Neither of them is a terribly strong closer. They both had like they both have an up smash as one of their best closing moves, so they tend to be good support for a strong combo game. So if like, if Fox can get that first hit that Luigi can then pick up on into the death combos you were talking about, then the team can work, but... Otherwise, I think maybe they just think Fox is going to be a little faster. Yeah, Fox's general advantage over Mario in the meta is that he, like Mario, can cover most areas pretty well, but he's faster. And so he can cover, right. he can cover uh, larger stages much as he yeah, so what what you're really trading is, is survivability. Right. Because uh, Fox's recovery is very linear and easily interceptable. And when you don't expect your uh, your stocks to last very long already, hey, why not? Yeah, nice team combo. Get get that link. This They're is, already doing a whole lot better. Yeah, they are up one stock a minute in instead of down two. Uh, Fian not quite able to clear the landing zone for Nintendo. And that's where we see the survivability of Fox failing. Okay, he's in. Uh, all right. Red team is able to get out of the tent. Just as Sakurai intended, the reflector. And you see, they've got they've got Kyoshiki off off by himself, which was good. Like anytime you can separate, that's going to be an advantage for your team. But at this point, I don't think that Red team wants to be on the outside fighting in. Almost no matter what your team is, you're going to be stronger together than apart. And so anytime you get separated, you're, you're, you're going to find yourself weaker. Yeah, it's, it's always a strange situation when you have like the zebra stripes, where it's like your team, their team, your team, their team. Because there are like two surrounds going. Yeah, yeah. So it's like whichever team can capitalize on their surround the best will come out better. And there you see again that wall of projectiles. Yeah, and Koshki just sort of going over it. But there, Freon was able to run some interference and keep the combo from killing. Which is uh, not something that we saw game two. Ooh, nice team combo from the egg. Like, team combos off of projectiles always get me hyped. Yeah, Prince has been playing a much more passive role in this game. Yeah, I, I think that Green Team, I think that Red Team's just been able to shut down some of Green Team's aggression and control space a little better, so Green Team is adapting. Nice safety laser there from uh, Nintendo. Oh, that was good. Safety lasers are hard to get right. Ooh, oh, wow. yeah, that's not what he was going for. That, yeah, Nintendo bobbled that punish pretty badly. Yeah, Freon there not trying to engage at 100%, but he, Hyrule saves him. Oh, and he just floats back. Nintendo is just hanging back, shooting the lasers until he can get in and uh, get in and get out safely. But it looks like he's kind of trapped here under the tent. Ooh, I, that laser okay. was not what he wanted there we go. Probably not. Probably. And red team up for the first time this set. Can Prince do it? And this, this is, this is Hyrule right here. But we do have a timer. And uh, I, I think this is this is very clearly the longest game that we've seen this set, which I think is a testament to how uh, Nintendo and Freon have been able to adapt and shut down a lot of Green Team's aggression. Took an, oh, wow. Oh, oh, man. That, that could have been the opening that Prince needed. It could have, but it just wasn't, wasn't quite enough. And that's where we see Yoshi's speed just being a huge disadvantage, especially in a 1v2 situation. 
That's true. Like the, the DJC can't get you down into the pit fast enough. But there's that cruising neutral air. You see how how uh, Luigi is shooting his fireballs backwards against the tent, just right so that they angle upwards. That's so smart. Yeah, that's that's something that you see from a veteran. That's advanced tech. They're free and a little far away to be able to help. He's an expert summers somersault through those angles. Oh, oh, and Prince gets one. All right. It took him a minute, but he fished it out. So now he just needs to get through the wall of lasers to that juicy Fox Center. Yeah. Oh, here, this, this could be, be it. it. He gets him out of the pit, which is important. But and yes. into a shallower pit. Yeah, the, the laser camping isn't quite as bad there, but it's still pretty bad. And there you see Prince <laughs> taking the low ground. It's over, Star Fox. I have the low ground. Yoshi at 243%. He's not really using the low ground. I think he's. I think he's probably scared because of the, the cooldown time on the egg there. Yeah, I, if, it's. I think he's right. It's not safe. Not unless Fox is that far away. Right. Yeah. And there he gets it. That could open it up. Oh, Fox at 143 percent. Prince at 258 percent. Neither of these players is looking for an engagement. Oh, that standing laser was almost a death sentence. It's been two minutes since we went into the Prince's 2v1. And both of these players know that it would be a big mistake to go oh. in. Oh my goodness. That this like this oh wow. Nintendo's oh. starting to get antsy, but you can't cob off that oh, oh. I guess you can, They're but it's both not gonna kill. Such high damage. This this should essentially be one touch. Prince approaching sudden death percent. All right, now he takes some high ground. Both players very nervous about the tornado. Oh, Prince, come on, you've only got a minute and 45. That's true. Yep. Fox's lasers do win the long game. Yep. Prince having about 100 more percent than Nintendo at this point. And both of these players still, like, with percent like these, you can sort of take your time. Only a couple more lasers until Prince is at 100. Yet yeah, one more, and he's at sudden death percent. <laughs> oh, but he gets the egg. That lets him one take the high ground at least. There it is, 308. Oh man. And he shoots more lasers. <laughs> and I don't blame him. He's at 184 percent. Basically, anything Yoshi gets threatens to kill at this point. Though, I, honestly, I think that Nintendo is in a better position here, not only because he has the percent lead, but because if any, almost anything he touches Yoshi with will kill him. If he gets single hit yeah. up, up air, that's going to be tragic. I think, I most think of Fox the... can trade with a neutral air. Anything that Yoshi does, he can trade with a neutral air. And at this point, the trade will be in Fox's favor, as long as he doesn't die. <laughs> that is, I think that's true. But like, Nintendo has, has no obligation to go in. See, and now, and there ah, you see there it. There it is. Like, Prince sees the timer ticking down. And Nintendo just waits for him to walk into a vulnerable position. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. Four, four minutes, Prince is able to, t to force a 1v1, but he isn't quite able to beat the timer. Nintendo keeping his pool all throughout. Patience wins out in the end. All right, and they're not going to hi they're not going back to Hyrule. I hope. Oh yeah, we see, uh, yeah, Freon. Yeah, Free and Nintendo talking about what to do. I guess they're discussing a ban? All right, we're taking it back to, to Dreamland. So I'll be very interested to see how this game develops. Because after that last game, I would expect to see more or less this. Like both players keeping one high, or both teams keeping one high and one low, trying to, like just trying to keep control of that portion of the stage. Oh, but already yeah, Red Team is a little bit isolated. Yeah, Freeman was, was playing a little far behind there. And there you see Yoshi oh, going oh. in through the fireball. The, and there's the ultimate edge guard, Prince or Kyoshi busting out the tech. That was a that was probably the best Luigi dash attack I've ever seen, honestly. It pushed both his his opponents off the stage. And that should do oh, it. There it is. And that's Luigi's strength in doubles. Very interesting choice waiting on opposite sides of the stage. I yeah. guess I guess the idea is that they can't catch both of us. Hmm. I guess so. Uh, you, that uh, that invulnerability is, is really scary on a small stage. Oh, 
Oh yeah. The Angel Invincibility is a very important part of how you win. Especially if you're, you're uh, running two slow characters against a fast character. Yeah, against a fast character. Is slow character. Oh, it, Fox. It looked oh, like, Fox. Oh, he, he, he fishes out the up <laughs> smash. Nice. Man, on that on that edge guard when Prince was coming back, it looked like Nintendo had a case of trying to catch both airs but catching neither. And that weak hit neutral air from uh, Kyoshi probably saved Prince. Unfortunately, he uh, just lost his progress with that, uh, that back air. Going after the Fox. Ooh. <laughs> That was an expert down air from Freehand, though. It was a exactly, wonderful exactly egg right stall. Yeah. My opponent needs help. I just need to get him away from the, get the opponent away from the edge. Egg. Yeah, you just got to run interference. Clear that landing zone. Sometimes all you need to do is threat. Absolutely. Oh, man. Two missed Luigi up bees. Yeah, green, green team in a very strong position now. Kyoshi going over to cover low. Ooh, but yeah, okay, now now it's in red team's favor. Except Prince is starting. Oh yeah, Prince was able to dodge okay. his way Oh, no, no up B. Did he use his second jump already? He yeah, must have. He must have. Kyoshi showing us that Luigi's dash attack has practical applications here. Yeah, but once again, it's all up to Nintendo. 3.55 on the clock. A small stage. He's going to have a hard time laser camping. Yeah. Oh, especially when he's dead. And there you go, Japan. Japan showing that they definitely know how to play this game. Green team.